Today I'm going to show you how I make my twist headband for my store online on Etsy. What you're going to need for yours is a two inch headband. This fabric glue is very good. I actually prefer it out of all of them. Also, you're going to need your fabric and your pattern is free. I included a link in the description box below. Make sure that when you print it out, this is at least eight inches long. You want to make sure to add three inches to that pattern. So this in length would be 11 inches long. All right, so let's get started. What you want to do is fold it. And on this fold, you're going to want to place your pattern there. We're going to need fabric to go around here. like an oval there. We're gonna use this fabric facing up. Take our glue in here. I'm gonna just use a little piece of fabric that I have left over and I'm going to get as thin as possible, right side up. Okay, so we have that glued down and we're gonna glue the rest of it. Now you can trim as you see fit. So you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to make it perfect in the beginning. And then what you wanna do is make some slits in the other side. So now we're gonna do the same where we zigzag and then we just spread. Working fast. Try to find which side is the best side. So basically the two fronts of the fabrics are facing each other. And we're going to clip it. We're going to go to the sewing machine. You can either do a quarter inch or a half inch. Doesn't matter, it's going to still be good. So let's go ahead and do that. And I also left a little area here for me to turn this fabric inside out. It's not very big. You want to cut off all of the excess and you also want to make little slits all the way around the fabric. You can use a pen or anything that is pointy. Find that opening. You want to make sure to get those ends. All right, so now that we have our fabric, we're going to place it under our headband, put it underneath, and then make a knot. And you want to make it as tight as possible. This is where it gets a bit tricky. So we have it like this. What you wanna do is turn it to the side where the seam, you can see the seam in the middle. You wanna give yourself a inch and a half and make a little slit so you have something like this and put that through all the way through but it should look neat like this so now we're gonna go to the other side and you're gonna have a little hole here. Take it to the side and put that right in. Now slowly bring it to the front. We have a little pocket for our corners here. There's no need to put glue. Make sure it's in the middle. There you go. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching.